it's a massive document stretching over 400 uh, pages, uh, a, a massive investment of police resources uh, to follow uh, the suspect and, and, and the mayor. Um, it raises serious questions. Well, what about what the chief revealed? The video exists. Well, the video, the video does exist, uh, according to the chief, and uh, I have not uh, seen it, but clearly uh, that has been confirmed. We can assume it to be true, and uh, that, that is clearly a disturbing revelation. What is your reaction to it? What happens now? Well, it's, it, we would have expected uh, more clarity from, from the mayor when he came out to, to speak, to, to have basically uh, no comment uh, is, is, is quite uh, disappointing and disturbing. Uh, it's, it's not the kind of leadership we're looking for. We were looking for an unequivocal uh, statement and response to, to what's been presented to the general public, and we didn't get it. Well, where does City Council go from here? I mean, it seems like there must be something of a state of chaos right now. Well, right now there's an enormous uh, uh, power vacuum uh, in the mayor's office. Uh, a strong statement and clarity uh, would have would have helped, uh, but um, but clearly we're you know we're we're being distracted from our from our task here. Uh, it it creates instability in the city. Uh, it sends a message to other governments that we we may not have the leadership we need. Uh, but at the same time, these are allegations only, and they haven't been proven in a court of law. Should he step aside? I would say that everyone everyone has their uh, uh, the right uh, to to uh, a day in court. Uh, he hasn't. He's not facing any charges. Uh, I, I think but that would be affect, premature. Can he affect the city? In, the, in in municipal government, according to legislation, the mayor decides uh, when he comes and, and when he goes, uh, and uh, the people decide when he comes and and he decides uh, when he goes. Uh, Clearly, there's a confidence uh, problem here, uh, and, and he's severely weakened uh, by today's events. But in the end, uh, the decision uh, is his uh, on, on whether he stays. Do you think he should resign? No, as I said, everybody's, everybody uh, has, uh, has their day in court. Uh, he has uh, the opportunity to refute uh, these, these charges and tell his, his side of it. Uh, he has not done so. Uh, that creates uh, a wider problem, but at the same time, the city cannot go on week after week, month after month, uh, while this drains the oxygen uh, from our government. But it will. It will continue to go on like this. It could, it could very well be, and uh, I have to talk to my colleagues. I know some have made some statements uh, in the press to, to that effect. Um, I, I think it's, it's, it's a very unstable, politically unstable situation. Uh, but it's a strong council uh, with, with very good voices and, and, and thoughtful minds, and I think the city is, 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 is still moving forward and still doing some great things. Thank you. That was quite the sign. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, it's a one mechanism, uh, but, uh, but that is not something that I would be uh, you know, advocating at this time, uh, but, uh, but we are, are, are looking much more substantive and, and clear message from the mayor's office on his allegations. Are you disappointed by the way he has reacted and, and some of his statements that he just uh, over the weekend? Well, yes. I mean, we're, we heard from the police chief that the video the video exists, uh, that he has uh, reviewed it. Um, the mayor has consistently denied that it exists. Um, that That is a credibility problem, and that, that's very disturbing, actually, for me and for, for the rest.